Good evening, Southeast Texas. A dry day and a dry night expected across Southeast Texas. As you look, cloudy skies at the Horseman Western Store 48 on the roofing 911 Skycam. Clouds out there and nothing on radar, but temperatures are chilling out. Currently, we're at 48 in Port Arthur. MJ Pontergraw reporting 51 in Orange. It's 50 in Warren. Jim Monk is at 44 in Jasper. It is 41 and across the state temperatures are into the 40s and 50s near 60 down in South Texas as we continue to see an active subtropical jet stream coming in from the Pacific. High pressure at the surface is being overrun aloft by uh, cloudiness and even some showers down in the southwest sections of Texas. There's the upper low that is going to be moving on towards our area as we work on in to uh, tomorrow afternoon and evening and uh, rainfall amounts are not looking terribly heavy, but shortly after noon time we ought to see a pretty good coverage that may last through tomorrow evening uh, in southeast Texas as this system goes by. Otherwise tonight future cast showing lots of clouds and tonight I expect temperatures to drop into the mid to upper 30s across the lakes area. A little cooler than what is shown here and by 7 a.m. should be in the low to mid 40s in the triangle. First half of the day looks dry. And if you watch radar, it'll be coming in from Houston. And after about noontime, we ought to have something moving into our western sections. Nothing real heavy, but once the rain start tomorrow, temperatures are probably going to go down. So hopefully we can reach to 60 uh, by noontime tomorrow here in the triangle. Otherwise, once the rain start, temperatures will actually sink during the afternoon. They may go down into the lower 50s uh, late day up in the lakes area. On the Gulf of Mexico, mostly smooth seas around a foot. We'll see easterly winds at 5 to 10 knots. Water temperature down to 63 degrees. Boy, wouldn't that be nice to have all year long. Uh, tomorrow looking at cloudy to mostly cloudy skies. Frosty uh, temperatures up in the lakes area and chilly here in the triangle. Not expecting any frost in through uh, Jefferson or Orange counties. Uh, probably from north to Silsby. Through the lakes could see some patchy frost as uh, winds go calm. Then tomorrow, yes, I've increased rain chances because I think it'll be in here uh, before about 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Really probably should have a 70 to 80 percent coverage. Otherwise, temperature is going to be into the upper 50s to around 60. That's at its warmest. Once the rain start, those temperatures are going to go down. OK, so falling temperatures likely tomorrow afternoon as that rain moves on in. And I think most of it should be out of here by Sunday morning daybreak, but cloudy skies will hold temperatures down into the 60s at most. And there you go. Sun returns by Monday and Tuesday with chilly mornings and cool slash mild afternoons. A warming trend then expected as we head towards the latter part of next week. Could be back into the mid 70s as the clouds come back in and by Friday a slight chance of showers ahead of Saturday.